why have containers revamped CI/CD? Well, traditionally, mm, all CI/CD tools and all CI/CD builds will require you to have libraries. Whether you're running just a version of Node, you need a specific version of Java, or even Unity to be available for your project to build, um, you will always would need these tools and frameworks uh, to be available in your agents where your builds run. That's is obviously a big amount of churn that has to be done to make sure that this happens. Your infrastructure engineers may have to provide this in the agents if you have self-hosted agents. And if you were to change from, I don't know, your own self-hosted agents to AWS, you will have to make sure that all of your AWS agents have all of these things before you even start. This always was a bit of a hassle, right? And um, the concept of containers has really try to take a turn at this. So containers are a layer on top of your uh, operating system that um, working with directly with the kernel, they can segregate processes from the rest of your operating system. That means they can run completely different new uh, operating systems uh, inside your own operating system. And so creating a way for you to deliver a lightweight way to containerize your tools. So creating a system with all of the tools that you might need. So if you need to have a specific version of Java, you just make sure that your build can run on a specific container. This can really be simplified, uh, simplify a lot of these processes because like I mentioned, like we have a lot of, you could be, uh, have a lot of churn if you want to ever make an infrastructure change. That's, it's tricky. And so these containers also create the layer that separates your infrastructure from your builds and make sure that the, the environment is always the same no matter what's happening. And at the same time, you also create very stable environments, which you know that the builds that are run locally will be the ones that will run in CI/CD, and will also be the same logic that will run when you deploy your application, for instance. And that creates a lot of safety on how your your product works. So there's a lot of uh, the concept that we haven't touched here, but let's let's make sure we understand how this works within Team City. So let's have a look at this example build that I've created here. So it's called well, Docker Showcase. <laughs> and in this, uh, we have just a simple um, step. And this, in this step, we just create, uh, we have a Maven project here, and it creates a package out of it. This package will be a, a static web page that I want to deliver. Right now, I have this already running within a step, con within a con Docker container, because I want to make sure it runs against Docker 7, uh, Java 17. I'm running it in Java 17. I wanted to make sure that it runs the same environment that, I'm, that my developers are using. This is great, but how do I actually deliver this? I want to deliver this to, let's say, S3 in this case, because S3 is the way that I, I deliver my web page to my clients. So if I were to want to, to, to make that happen, I would have to add a new build step. In this build step, I want to run a command, which will be AWS S3 copy, to make sure that I copy what's in my artifact that I create here using my parameter, and I will copy it to this bucket location. So this sounds great, but then I know I remember, oh, my agents don't have the AWS CLI installed. That's kind of a bummer. But how can I fix this? It's it's tricky, but if you want to use Docker, it's not that tricky anymore. You just have to make sure that you use the image that you have for the AWS CLI. So this is the image that we published for the AWS CLI and ensure that it runs that way. So you might have some questions like you just run the previous uh, step in a Docker container. Will this one uh, still have access to what was published there? Yes, Team City takes care of all of that for you. So whatever you use in your containers, we will always make sure that it's available to the next containers or just to the agent in general. So it's always available for you. So we can save this and it would uh, be able to use that to run the, your build and deliver your web page to S3. So this is how um, the most simple use case can happen. But also, it's important to talk about potential security threats here. And images are very interesting, but public images can be considered a threat to some people. And depending on how of what the, the level of security you have to have in your business, you may want to consider publishing your own images because then you have control of who publishes it, when it's published, and exactly what's published. And then you, you reduce the number of attack vectors that can uh, threaten your builds. And Team City can help you with this, of course. Uh, in this case, you can build your own Docker image. For instance, uh, we have this Docker command here. This Docker command allows you to um, have a path to, uh, to build your own image locally. Let's, for instance, uh, use this parameter that I have here for the Docker file path. And it can build an image with a specific tag. We can call it my AWS tag, CLI, and then you uh, can even version it here. You can use the build number. 
So that means that you always will create a new image with a new build number that you can then you can ensure that it's always publishing a new one. That way, we can save this, and then we can create another build step, and now to push it. The, we have uh, the name, my AWS CLI, and then we use, again, the build number as the tag. So this will allow you to push your image. Usually you would do this to a private repository that you will have it configured uh, directly. But yeah, we will not worry about this here naturally. So this way you'll have your image that you control. It's published whenever you want, but it also can use your own version control system. So whenever you have a change to it, it will naturally push a new image and you can reuse it in your builds automatically. So yeah, this is how the, our docker integration works and I hope you've enjoyed your video. Bye.